Hello ladies and gents, we've had a 2011 uh, 60 plate Honda CRV come in. It's the 2.2 diesel. So the, the correct model for these is a DTEC EST SUV. Five door diesel manual this one. It is a four wheel drive, the Euro 5, the 150 brake horsepower model. Now don't, let, don't be put off, it has got seven owners. However, I'd say every one of these owners definitely looked after this car. They collectively done around 129,000 miles. They've all kept up the service history. Uh, it's got a full year's MOT on it. It drives absolutely lovely. It looks shockingly for the age and mileage. There's not much to show you on the video in terms of scratches and dents, there really isn't. Um, nice little spec as well. We've got the alloy wheels. We've got the half leather Alcantara seating in there, which is a favorite of mine. Um, the color as well, I think easily the best color it comes in easily i mean we've had blacks and burgundies and bronzes and all sorts but this one definitely beats them all anyway the reason why we do these videos is to outline all of the marks the minor the major so you know what you're getting for your money obviously you're going to have some stone chips but believe you me it's tough to find them um it is like i said it's all age related stuff nothing too scary we've got the front and the rear parking sensors on this one there's one of them there now, if you do have a look at the bodywork along the car, it has got a nice mirror finish. So I'd say easily never been in an accident or sprayed. And if it has been done, it's been done by a professional because look at that finish. Absolutely spot on. Um, all tyres are good. I'd say easily probably might need a change at the next year's MOT. But you're, this car, like I said, is good to go as it is right now. Slight kind of car park, little dents and not even dents really, just kind of car park dinks and that sort of thing. Slight little scratch there. Hold on, can you see it on the camera? Hold on. There. there you go. Let's look our way round. Very, very difficult to see type of kinks and dinks and whatnot. If you go far away, I mean, from a distance, you can't really see anything really. We've got the rear privacy glass windows, as you can see. Rear sensors down there. It is nice and clean underneath as well. clean bodywork on this side for that mirror finish once again very nice and clean there let's have a look at the inside obviously you've seen the pictures but i don't think um i think it's a bit more clear in the video so obviously here you've got the half leather half, half alcantara we've got the heated seats as well we've got the nav and i'm assuming that may come with bluetooth but i'm not too sure no warning lights on the dashboard we've got the old usual cruise control multi-function steering wheel i think somebody's changed the gear knob there Maybe to make it, look, make it look a little bit sporty. Put on these blue, I'm not too sure about those. First thing, I'll probably take them off, but anyway. Um, so that's the front of the car. Got the armrest as well. The rear of the interior, the worst of it is that and that. Okay, potentially with maybe a wash, it'll all come out anyway. If you get a, valid, a full valid wash of the inside seats. But other than that, it is actually quite clean. Uh, the rear boot. It's got the old plastic um, tray that, that, that stops the carpet from getting too dirty. So that's nice and clean. Plastic tray, however, has taken a bit of a beating. But anyway, um, we do consider part exchanges. We may even consider some very sensible offers. Uh, but like I said, the car's ready to go. It drives superb. If you have any other questions, obviously, please don't hesitate. Give us a call, email us, text us. Anyway, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot.